Hey guys, and welcome back to Carolina Fragrance Reviews. And of course, it is time for our new releases from Dua. I have three gourmand fragrances to share with you today, and they are all fire. Okay guys, what I have to share with you today is three new gourmand releases that I have from the house of Dua. The first one I wanna share with you is Pumpkin Spice. This one is a beast mode for Thanksgiving, Christmas, the holidays. It has pumpkin, uh, it actually has like actual pumpkin flesh. It has coffee, it has cream, and it is beast mode. I mean, it's like super, super strong. It is a fantastic, very solid release, and it is a Dua original. I've seen people posting that it was like inspired by something, but no, it was inspired by Masam Raza. This is an original, it's fantastic. Get your nose on this one if you like pumpkin spice. Okay guys, the next one is inspired by Zirjoss Casamorati Italica. It is Italiano. It is almond, vanilla, and toffee. It is very, very rich. It's very, very inviting. It's just one of those fragrances you wanna snuggle up around Christmas time or whatever, but it is a very, very solid release and you need to get your hands on this one because it is probably the best gourmand that Dua has put out to date, in my personal opinion. All right, guys, my intention for you tonight was to actually do a side-by-side -side with the Zirjoff and the Italiano and the Tom Ford and the Pop Cherry. Unfortunately, the United States Postal Service screwed us on that. But I have smelled the Tom Ford fragrance, and this is actually going to be a first reaction for me on this one, courtesy of my friend Brian, who actually made sure that I could get this in my hands because Dua's running behind on their shipments a little bit. So I wanted to make sure that I could get this so I could review this for you guys like firsthand. All right, guys, like I said, I wanted to do this side by side, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you my first impressions right now. All right, on the opening note, from what I can remember, this one is a lot sweeter. It kind of has almost that cherries in the syrup kind of smell when you first get it. And uh, it does have the woody nuances that the Tom Ford has. I don't know guys, I would say maybe just, you know, without a complete and total dry down, it's pretty darn close, but from what I can remember, I'd say maybe a 7.5 to 8 on the Tom Ford. But in my personal opinion, I actually like this one a little bit better because I do enjoy the sweetness of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man, it's pretty spot on for the original. It does have some nice woody nuances going on. I'd say this is another banger from Dua Fragrances, Pop Cherry. Okay guys, I just want to give you a little bonus. Any of you that have seen any of my Facebook posts or know me personally know that I'm very passionate about my son. I'm passionate about fragrances. My son is passionate about me and he's also passionate about fragrances. I was in a Facebook group the other day called Room 540 and they were talking about a blend with Mason Margiela's By the Fireplace and MFK's Baccarat 540. Well, Dua has their version, Casino Royale Nights, which is a spot-on ringer for the Baccarat. My son decided to not only blend these two, he wanted to throw the Italiano in the mix, and it brings out that s'mores by the fireplace deal that just is like nostalgic for an adult as much as it is for a child. I don't know if you guys want to give that a try. It's been tried this way with the Italiano and by the fireplace and with the Casino Royale Nights, but throwing all three together does something magical. All right, guys, once again, those are three more new releases from the house of Dua Fragrances, Inspired Expressions. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.